Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Listen to this. Yeah, peace and quiet. No alarms like last like yesterday morning. Oh man, oh man, oh man. If life was an amusement park yesterday was definitely the highest roller coaster <laughs> that I've had this year. Ah. Anyway, Anywho, it's starting out great today. A little chilly here in the east coast of the U.S. It is Friday. Friday. Oh, thank God it's Friday. Ah, my only wish is that ah, the weekend just seems slower. I get it. They're all 24-hour days. But because waking up in the dark, going to bed in the dark, you guys have got to feel it the way I do. It just shortens my day. I keep, <laughs> it does. Anyway, uh, it's Friday, December 9th, 2016. As I record this, I give you those dates because we do this every single day. When there's an alarm going off, eh, can't do it when the alarm's going off, but we're still going to do it that day. So this is... <laughs> The YouTube channel where we post the pocket dump deconstruction every single day. And what that means is what you're looking at right now, that's going to be in my pockets. I took a bunch of pictures. I posed it for the pictures for Instagram, which I post at Keith Kevin Ken. That's the Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken. And I'll post it around noonish, one-ish or two-ish, depending on how the workday goes. Monday through Friday, except for emergencies like yesterday, I post around right before 11 o'clock on YouTube, right before I run off to work late. Um, and then on Saturday and Sunday, I don't know, when I finally roll off the couch <laughs> and decide to go outside. Saturday and Sunday, we not only do the pocket dump deconstruction and the knife that I considered carrying, but I didn't. I always call it the knife that got away. Saturday and Sunday, Saturdays, I have a bunch of Amazon.com packages that I go down to the mailroom to pick out. So I have started a tradition of bringing a big knife with me. And I did it one day and the guys just go crazy. So now they hold my packages hostage until I come down with the knife. And then I spend 30 to 45 minutes while they open up packages or stab boxes or <laughs> do whatever. Uh, and I show you that knife. Sunday, I pick up my blue apron, you know, the food in a box for all of us wannabe cooks that can't cook or shop. That's me. Uh, and I bring a big knife as well. So uh, that's what we get Saturdays and Sundays. And I post a lot of other videos. <laughs> so go check out this channel. There's over I'm about 500 videos on it, including all of the pocket dump deconstructions. Now let's talk about what we're what we're doing today. Let's see if I, I let's see. Can I? Yeah, there you go. Yes, the Apple Watch Gen 1 Apple Watch. It's Friday. I have a lot of work to do, but I want to catch up on uh what's happening email wise because I want to try to clean up stuff for the weekend I'm so far behind so I'm doing my Apple watch the cigar it's a shorty and usually on a Friday I don't look at a shorty but yesterday was so tough and I held off smoking my cigar until I could show you guys the pocket dump deconstruction oh it was a wonderful Trinidad ah, it was wonderful and it was such a tough day usually I turn off all electronics or put them away or keep them away from me sit down drinking something good with alcohol in it and just thinking you know is it meditation there's not an ohm anywhere but i do make my mouth look like ohm as i blow as i'm blowing out smoke um and it was so good i did another trinidad and i don't know if you guys do um good hearty cigars if you don't not time to start a bad habit but uh i woke up this morning <laughs> after drinking a little too much and smoking a little too much this is about what i can handle but what a wonderful 
thing. It's a Partagas Siri D number six. Just a wonderful little smoke. The titanium Sean design pen is going to be in my pocket today. Hopefully it'll help me get through my the few meetings I have on a Friday quickly. The coin is, again, one of my Chinese lunar year coins. I like those flower coins. You see the little, the edges are like flowers, rounded edges. That's the 2009 Chinese lunar year coin, the year of the ox. I always carry a good luck one ounce silver coin in my pocket. And the reason is my grandfather always carried silver dollars. Yeah, the U.S., up until 1964 was the last year. You say actually carry silver. Uh, all of our, you know, silver coins were actually made out of silver. Um, and so it was just a special thing when he reached in his pocket, either gave us one or bought us stuff with it. So, yeah, it's kind of a memory piece for him. But it's also uh, a good luck charm for me. Uh, one of my thin Mont Blanc wallets. Today, I'm going to use the blue scotch. Um, I'm going to celebrate at the end of the workday. At the end of the workday, I'm going to celebrate <laughs> the coming of the weekend <laughs> with some real good blue scotch. And we have one of the Word notepads from Amazon.com. Now let's talk about the carry. <laughs> and the knife that got away. Um, you guys know I am in love with the Cricut, these small Cricut knives. I did a video, one of the, and I am not done with Spydeco Palooza. In fact, this weekend I'm hoping to get a bunch of uh, videos done on Spydeco Palooza. So don't forget to subscribe so you know when I'm posting things because not only do we do the daily pocket dump deconstruction, but also I'll do other videos as well. I just did an all um, Chris Reeve video, for instance, um, and all my 56 Chris Reeve knives. We've got a lot of Spydeco Palooza uh, videos. They're all in a listing. I'm going to do a whole bunch more because we're only about halfway through my collection. I promise you I'll do them this uh, weekend as well. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're subscribed and after you hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell next to you so you're notified. I don't know, YouTube, even me, I, I, I'm like, Man, didn't I subscribe to them? And then when I finally track them down, I have four videos that I had never seen. Um, and sometimes they've even unsubscribed me. So please do that. So you don't miss all of these special videos that we'll be doing. One day I'll get my act together. I don't know when. My job takes a lot out of me. But one day I'll get my act together and uh, even schedule those. But we are doing an everyday video. Um, let's see. I do want to mention, I, I, I read all of your comments every day. I just don't respond to all of them. I just haven't had time. I need to work on that. I know that, uh, someone got real, real angry because, you know, they asked me, what do I do for work? They asked me on Instagram. They asked me on YouTube. And to me, I, I, you know, I'm real upfront. I'm telling you guys too, real upfront. He says, you know, you talk about us joining your channel and stuff, but you don't give us all the information. Hey, listen, I'm posting every single day. And what I give you guys is what I want to give you. I am not going to talk about my work. And one reason I don't do that, and I know a lot of you are very young, okay? <laughs> Some of you aren't that young, but you may not be working in a place like I do where there actually are rules for social media for employees because my company wants to control how they do social media and they don't want everybody in there doing social media. And so sometimes you get thin lines. So my company may not want to be associated with someone who loves knives. That's their right. They pay me a lot of money so I can buy knives and have a great 
life. They don't care what I do as long as I don't associate myself with that company and indirectly associate that company with what I do. So I can make rude jokes. I can talk about Nas. I can do all kinds of things because that's my personal right as an American and they recognize that and they're happy. But once I put my company out there, once I do that, then it's a thin line. And hey guys, <laughs> this is the internet. So, and I'm gonna, I'm sorry, and I don't mean this to be a rant, rant, it's the truth. So I'm explaining why when you go, what? First of all, so let's just be honest. I'm 57 years old. I'm not putting my hard work and what I get paid so you're happy so you could know what I do for a living. I'm not gonna do that. No sane person would, okay? Second, I respect my jobs thing, and so I'm not gonna do it. Third, where I work has nothing to do with these knives. So let's get over that. You can ask, it's a free thing. I'm not dodging questions. I am telling you, I'm not telling you what I do for a living. That's all, okay? Now, when I'm in a sports mobile van, retired, driving around, I'll show you what I'm doing for a living, where I eat, all those things. Well, right now, we just can't do that. And part of it is because my job has strict regulations for social media that I respect, okay? Sorry for the rant, but I understand it seems like I'm standoffish because I'm not telling you. I'm just, hey, I'm a different generation, too. I don't share my stuff all my stuff on the internet, okay? I actually talk to people and see people, um, and even the people I've known for years, and this is what you guys have to understand, and maybe it's a generational thing, but people I know for years don't know everything about me. <laughs> there are people I interact with personally that don't ask me where I work, you know? So now they would, I would probably tell them locally, but you get what I'm talking about. Okay, I hope you guys understand. This is not to put the guy on blast. That's a legitimate question. People ask me that question every now and then. I'm just telling you why I'm not going to do that, okay? Thanks. I respect your right to ask. Please, just all I ask for is to respect my answer. All right, here's the Spydeco uh, Cricket, which I love. You guys know that. This is the etch version. I'm telling you. They have an etch cricket. They have, I don't know all of them. They have an X dragonfly. They, I like the etch. It's stainless steel, but the difference is when you have this etch pattern, you don't get all the fingerprints that you usually do on stainless steel knives. You guys know what I'm talking about. Also, stainless steel will show any little rub or scratch. This hides it actually real well. It looks great. Of course, this is the reverse S with that big belly. That is the Cricut 1.9 inch blade S, uh, I'm sorry, VG10 steel, VG10 steel. And of course, with that frame lock and that real small pocket clip. What a wonderful knife. If you want to get for Christmas your wife, your, your younger kids, or yourself, a handy knife that can do a lot of EDC kind of things, a lot of small cutting things. Consider the Cricut. It's a really nice knife. It really is. Yeah, the medium is my Chris Reeve knife. Um, hadn't carried it for a couple of days, a Chris Reeve knife. So, oh man, just a small Sabenza 21. This one is with the Tanto blade. You know, uh, for a lot of years, the exclusive distributor of all Chris Reeve Tanto blades was True North Knives. I've gotten all of mine from True North Knives. They still sell a bunch of them. I don't know if they're still the exclusive folks because now I'm seeing some Tanto blades show up on, you know, uh, Blade HQ and also on knifeart.com. So I don't know if they're just sharing their love or if the exclusivity is off, I don't know, but I love the Tanto blades from Chris Reeve Knives. 2.9 inch blade, S35VN steel, plain Jane, titanium body with, of course, 
what Chris Reeve invented, that Chris Reeve Intercol frame lock, it's just unbelievable. You could tell with the Tanto blades, with this special lanyard and bead on all of them. The Umnumzan that has the Tanto blade has a different bead and lanyard. I think it's gray, dark uh, gray and white, or gray and light gray, but still a special one. Oh, man. That is, <laughs> you, know, you guys know. I keep saying it, it's to me one of the perfect knives. And yes, this has really earned a place in my pocket. Ah, I always tell you the horror stories when I bought this. This is by far the most expensive Spydeco that I purchased this year. I have bought some very expensive Spydecos because they were very rare Spydecos. Uh, this was a brand new uh, knife that just came out this year as I record this 2016 the much anticipated the blade magazine award-winning Nirvana uh, Spydeco working with Peter Rosenti to put together this one piece the whole entire handle including the lock the Chris Reeve Intracol frame lock all out of one machined out of one piece of titanium is that unbelievable or what just really nice mm. uh, the blade is s90 v steel 3.7 inches peter resenti uh has his a lot of integral um uh integral is it integral integral one piece uh, handled knives and so when he teamed up with Spyderco, Spyderco said hey we could do that on a production basis this came very sticky very hard to open as well even now I make sure that my fingers are on the clips usually I just open it but when it is it's very smooth I've seen pictures of people with super smooth ones so I've also seen a lot of people that had the same problems I have but this has worked itself out of it and is just a very beautiful knife, very smooth for me. I, you know, it's funny, I have a lot of blacked out knives, whether it's browse blades or whoever, and it doesn't bother me. In fact, the knife that got away has a black blade and it doesn't bother me. For some reason, when Chris Reed, I mean, when Chris Reed, when Spyderco on the rock and on this knife, when they do this gray coating, it bugs the hell out of me. I don't know why. Uh, I would have just loved a blasted, you know, stainless steel or something. But anyway, it's a beautiful knife. It works very well. It's a nice carry. Whenever people see it, they talk about it. They want to mess with it. Expensive knife. I get it. I have, you know, I hear on YouTube and I follow a lot of knife folks on Instagram, makers who say, hey, just let it wear out. I get it. I just wish that people, you know, put a tab in the box and let you know that, you know. Um, I was frustrated <laughs> with it, but now I like it. I like it. I like it. I did not sell it. I was ready to give this thing and I held off. I was one of the first that got one. Uh, and I have a first impressions video where I'm just so hyped that it came. Um, but I wouldn't sell it because, you know, I wouldn't, first I don't sell a lot of my knives, but also I wouldn't give someone else my problems. I don't believe in that. But it's a beautiful knife right now. It has broken in. It was in my case for months, <laughs> but it has broken in. That, my friends, that's the carry. It'll be on the Instagram at Keith Kevin Kim. Please thumb it up. I love when you guys thumb it up. It just gives me, you know, just like all of you guys. And I'm sorry for the rant. It wasn't really a rant. I just wanted to, to explain to you that, you know, I'm not Superman or some secret agent <laughs> for work. It's just what I told you. So uh, I'm sorry if that's not an issue for you guys. I'm sorry when I ranted if that threw you off. That won't happen all the time, uh, but you are a part of my life, so, you know. Um, that, my friends, is it. Please thumb it up. 
so important. Share it with people. Let them know they're out there. Whether they hate me or they start to like it, just at least let them know that we're there. Okay? And of course, subscribe. We're, waking, we're making our way steadily to 2,000 subscribers. Once we do, there'll be a two knife giveaway, Spyderco giveaway, at least two knives, and at least one of them will be a Sprint Run limited edition. That, my friends, that right there is will be on Instagram uh, this afternoon. But you know what? This ain't Instagram. Oh, no. This is the Keith Kevin Ken YouTube channel. I carry the Trudone yesterday, and I was loving it. I was really loving it. You know, um, man, oh, man. So the first thing I pulled out was the Ultratech. And uh, this is, I have three Ultratechs, one with a see-through top, the other an olive uh, tanto blade, and then this one. This is with that new tri-grip. It's a bunch of, can you see that? It's a bunch of triangles that come off of the aluminum handles. And it gives you a real grip. It's very grippy. You know, most Ultratechs, most out the fronts coming out of Microte uh, Microtech is kind of smooth aluminum. Not a big problem because they're thin and good grip on them. But this has a lot of texture on it. Um, and <laughs> dagger blade. Remember I was talking about black blades? I like this. DLC coated. I do like this. I think it looks great. I also like that they keep that satin right there, you know, with the logo and stuff. And it looks badass, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah, and that dagger blade, I really like. Great action, too. Out the front automatic from uh, Microtech. It's the Microtech Ultratech with that new True Grip handle 3.4 inches like most ultra techs l max steel like most of my out the fronts you can get them in a lot of steels but for some reason every time i buy one it's l max steel and i like that so another dagger uh blade i just love it that's the knife that got away hey you guys keep warm it's starting to get a little cold outside of course it's December 9th, it should start getting a little cold outside. I wish all of you guys and your families the best. I really do. Thank you for giving me so much of your time. I know how precious it is, especially just making it day to day gets busy. You know, even when you don't have special plans, just providing for yourselves and your families and all of that and showing them all your love. Hey, seriously though, take a little time. I do, I turn off all the goodies. Take a little time for yourself throughout the day. Man, it makes you a better person. Helps you to put stuff into perspective. It really does. And then you can go on and be a better employer, employee, husband, wife, son, daughter, grandson, granddaughter, or whatever. Hey, you guys, have a perfect one. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.